Earlier this year, New Zealand was visited by the number one golfer in the world. He is Irish, but he isn't Rory. The two-time world speed golf champion Rob Hogan had his Irish eyes set on the rolling green fairways of Ariki Kapa Kapa in Rotorua, keen to promote the sport that changed his life. I found speed golf in 2008 and I immediately realised it was for me. It was one of those moments, you know. My background is entirely professional golf. I trained for running just to complement my speed golf. I've definitely gotten in better shape. I've lost 20 kg in the last three years. So speed golf really uh, is a great workout and I'd advise anybody that's thinking of trying it just to get out there. The world's fastest man, around 18 holes, believes that whilst the game of golf is a very conventional one, this new incarnation of the traditional game has plenty to offer the purists. Speed golf in a way is, is closer to golf's roots. It distills golf to its purest form. You know, it makes it a creative sport once again, and it's played quickly. There's none of this fussing around for six hours, you know. Get your round of golf in, and then you can chill for the rest of the day. It's an amazing sport on its own right. And because of the, the great sport of golf, there's 22,000 speed golf courses around the world. So, it, you know, the template is set, and I can see this being an Olympic sport. That takes time, but a few years down the line, a lot of people would agree with me. Rob won his second world championship with a final round of 78, taking him a mere 40 minutes to run the 6,000 metre course. Speed golf is the combination of the time it takes to play 18 holes added to your score. There is an amazing kind of intersection of different strengths, like you've the running superstar Nick Willis, Bernard Legat, and then you've got really top golfers, Eric Crum, who was Tiger Woods' teammate in college. It's amazing to see these different backgrounds coming together and meeting that roughly the same score. Rob was visiting to compete in the second ever New Zealand Speed Golf Open, a format of the game that the Rotorua Golf Club have openly embraced, believing this pacey version is an exciting way forward. We've really enjoyed it. The club members have gotten behind it. That shows pretty well from the number of members that have actually turned out yesterday and today to help run the event. We'd like to promote it. It's a lot shorter for people to play. Uh, the golfing population is getting older and if we want to attract new members and younger people to the sport, then we have to offer this type of variation. Holding a competitive speed golf event throws up a unique challenge in keeping score. The scorer having to run alongside the golfer his entire round. So you've definitely got to be able to sight the ball early and uh, you've got to have your arithmetic um, in order, so counting the shots. So, you know, the pressure's on, you've got to move quickly through with the golfer and make sure that you're concentrating the whole time. The running part of it is probably the most enjoyable for me and you don't often get to run on world-class golf courses, so, yeah, that's, that's a real treat. As well as running with a scorer, speed golf offers up plenty of other quirks. Yeah, I put one-handed, just it means it logistically makes more sense. You've less running to do. I'm kind of of a lazy disposition, so the less I have to run, the better. I like to keep the tees in the beard, and I also keep my pet squirrel in the beard. Unfortunately, quirks and all weren't enough for Rob to take home the silverware. Despite setting the fastest running time of 39 minutes, a round of 80 saw the two-time world champion finish as runner-up. The final day belonged to Dunedin teacher Richard Olsen, who despite being five minutes slower than his Irish counterpart, was seven shots better, winning by the slim margin of one and a half points. The running was pretty much on par with the golf today, which was fantastic. The main difference was hitting my driver really well today. I was hitting it straight, so I wasn't having to crisscross across the fairway, um, which saved a lot of time on the running end, and yeah, no, it all just fell together nicely. Richard Olsen adding the 2016 New Zealand Speed Golf Championship to his 2007 New Zealand 1500 metre title.